in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the reactions which occur with group 2 elements group 2 elements and in the last video I talked about how group 2 elements are often oxidized so they lose electrons and since they're in group 2 they have 2 electrons in their outer shell 2 electrons in their outer shell and they often when they react lose both of these electrons so the reaction which would occur basically if I was to draw out a, a general equation using M to represent the element in a group 2 using M since the, the all of the elements in group 2 are metals so I could use M to represent that so I use M and that basically forms the, the ion of that element so M2 plus since it's group 2 and two electrons to balance the charge and so that's what would happen now if we take a look at what happens when when a lot of these elements react with water with water I actually have a table here and this table basically shows the reactivity of them of these different elements with water and so beryllium oh well in my last video I talked about the reactivity trend and I said that reactivity increases down a period and if you look at this table, I've got a table going from beryllium all the way down to barium. So that corresponds with the elements going down the periodic table all the way to barium. And the table shows the rea relative reactivities, uh, the rate of reaction which would happen if it was to, put in water, to be put in water. Now, beryllium is very, very unreactive if you add it to water, just as it, as it is on its own. It's pretty much not going to react. Magnesium reacts slowly, calcium reacts steadily, and the other two react very quickly. So yeah. Now, if we were to make an equation of this reaction, so let's choose calcium for this. So let's say calcium was to react with water, Ca plus H2O. That would react to produce two products. The first product which is going to be produced is a hydroxide, a metal hydroxide. And that metal hydroxide is going to be CaOH2. Since we need two OHs because the charge on the calcium is 2 plus, so to balance that out, we need two OHs. And we're also going to produce hydrogen gas, so H2. Now, to finish this off, what we need to do is balance this equation and add state symbols. So first of all, uh, hydrogens, we have four hydrogens here and four hydrogens on this side. Oxygens, we have, we have two oxygens here and only one oxygen here. Did I just say we've got four hydrogens? No, we've got two hydrogens. We've got two hydrogens on this side and, and four on that side. Sorry, I got mixed up. And... So what we need to do is not only double the hydrogens so that we've got four, but double the oxygen so that we've got two like we've got on that side. So if I put a two here now, we now have a balanced equation. Uh, but what we need to now add, now add to this equation is state symbols. So calcium is going to be a solid when it goes in. Uh, H2O is just going to be liquid. And CaOH2... Uh, this would this would dissolve in water, so this would be aqueous, and the H two produced would be in the gaseous state, so G. Now, following on from this with this reaction, one of the other things which can happen is that when we burn group two, uh, actually before we go in onto the reaction with oxygen. Let's take a look at what's happening in terms of the reduction and oxidation. Because I suspect this is a redox reaction and we'll find out if my suspicions are correct. So calcium right here has an oxidation number of 0. Calcium here has an oxidation number of 2 plus because it's with an OH minus and the charge is um, overall 0. So it must be 2 plus. And hydrogen has an oxidation number here of 0. Whereas hydrogen here has an oxidation number of plus one. So now if we link these up, so it's gone from zero here to plus to two plus here. So it's basically plus two. 
and the minus the plus one has gone from plus one to zero so plus one and if we actually talk about what is going gone on here what's happened is that the calcium has gained um charge in a uh, gain positive charge and lost by losing electrons and this is oxidation oxidation and the hydrogen in the h2o has gained electrons and each one has gained one electron so it's gonna have been reduced and in this case it's gonna be have been reduced by one oh no 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 i seem to have made a slight error here this is minus one yeah minus one so it basically it reduces yeah 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 it minus one so this 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 kind of helps me to make sure i don't make these kind of silly mistakes but yeah um so this by definition since it's something is being oxidized and something is being reduced this reaction is a redox reaction redox reaction redox reaction because something's been oxidized and something's being reduced and now going following on from this if we now go to a reaction which involves uh, the burning of a metal in oxygen and let's just use I'm just gonna use calcium again so I don't think I've got that much space on it I'll go to this, this way to the right to the right anyway uh, so we've got calcium and this is going to react with oxygen and oxygen is in the form of O2 when it reacts and this is going to actually form an oxide of calcium so it's going to form CaO since oxygen here is going to have an oxidation number of minus 2 C is going to be plus 2 so this balances out but we need to balance this equation out so first of all we've got two oxygens here and one here so we need to get increase this by 2 and now we have two calciums here and only one here so we need to increase the calcium by two and so now the equation is balanced and if i add some state symbols to this equation we're just going to have ca is a solid oxygen is a gas and cao is a solid as well and this is this is going to be a white solid white solid and now we get to look at the reason why it's called alkaline earth metals now when calcium oxide this calcium oxide which we just formed here when this actually when this is placed in water what happens is it reacts with the water and it produces the alkali and it's basically the alkali which i showed you in the uh in the video so in the, in, in in the previous part of the video which so what's happening is we got calcium oxide and that reacts with the with the H2O and that produces not only the calcium ions but it also produces two moles of two moles of OH minus ions and so this right here because this this happens because of the, this is going to strongly dissociate the calcium is going to strongly dissociate to form these um it's not going to stay as caoh since it's already aqueous it's already inside water so it's going to just dissociate and form the alkali the oh minus ions and so yeah this is what this is the reason why we actually call the group two metals alkaline earth metals because of the fact that when we add the oxide to water as we've done in this equation it produces uh and uh, uh, tends to produce a, a, an alkaline solution or it releases hydroxide ions so if we actually add state symbols now to this equation we would have CaO which is a solid reacts with H2O which is a liquid and that produces Ca2 plus ions which is aqueous and 2OH minus ions which are also aqueous so yeah this is the reaction which occurs and um, yeah the thing is, magnesium oxide and um, what is it? Uh, BEO, BEO. Where is it? Yeah, BEO 
is not really going to be um, soluble in water because it, is, it has a tendency to resist reaction in water. So from this point, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.